We are so excited to be with you here. Elise Woodward and Natasha Watley. It is Arizona, and this is the bracket. Take your pick. Who's your winner going to be? It starts in hotels batting order. We will start with Arizona State. Up first, McKenna Harper play Devin Nets. The workhorse for Arizona. She hits cleanup and she is their eight. Behind the dish today, Izzy Hacho. So McKenna Harper. Well, the count is full to Harper. And this is inside, so the leadoff walk to McKenna Harper. Hit that ball out of here. And that one gets away from Nets. Off speed. I don't think it'll leave to So another 2-2 here to Jasmine Rollin. And she got her. Nets with the first K, and she needed that one. And Van Hook, the first baseman. 35 ribbies to go with it. One away here. Two runners aboard. And a second straight strikeout. 336 average with one home run. The six Looking for her third straight strikeout. Instead, it is stung out to right field. And getting it in quick. And Milius has now hit safely in six straight games. And Jasmine Hill, the center fielder, sends this one high into the air to the track. It carries over the wall. It is a grand. Jazz Hill saying, don't forget about me in the sixth spot in this order. She's doing damage. Up, Jasmine Hill. Let's go. She said it is Pac-12 tournament first time. I'm showing up. I'm here to play. Let's go. Jazz Hill, the senior out of Norwalk, California. Lissy. The shortstop. She had been hitless in seven of her last nine games, but coming up big. Four runs on the board for the Sun. Lead the Pac-12 in scoring over six and a half runs per game. Kaya Altmaier and Logan Cole. And in the circle for Arizona State, the true test that for the Sun Devils just as a freshman. And she will go to her current College World Series last season in her first year. And that one will be fair. Dakota Kennedy. And the lead off. Good to see Carly back in the lineup. She missed six weeks of time. And and swing and a miss. The freshman going right at Scoopin and gets her. The Sun Devils says that she thinks she's extremely talented. Runner goes and out. Job by the grad student behind the dish. And a hot shot off McGee. She won't get Donardo, but is she going to be? Devin Nets, excellent two-way player. And the starting pitcher today. And another one up the middle, but handled there by Jazz Rollin, who just steps on second base. Back to the World Series, it was pretty phenomenal with the job she did. Um, it was a long time coming, but um, uh, very proud of what we have right now. And just really excited that we have everyone here in one place and be able to compete to make this happen uh, was, was pretty special for me. National, or national championships have been won by the Pac-12 Conference. 24 of 40. Oh, beautiful catch. Diving out there, Dakota Kennedy. In period to go to this as we take another look at Dakota Kennedy. You break that play down, coach. <laughs> that the sport's getting daily. I mean, whether it's putting on XM radio. I think we kind of fell behind a little bit in that regard. And I really felt toward the end that when we got into the uh, selection process that there was a lot of people saying my goal is to make the all Pac-12 defensive team and instead she's her friends and family in Tucson. Straight up the middle for the base hit for Skaggs. In the order for Arizona. 358 swinging a hop back. Did she go? No. He said she did not so the free pass given up by very confident. I love her presence. Uh, just her presence alone. She. And that one inside. So two walks given up in a row. And the big. So two freshmen will be going at it in a big full afternoon for game one of the Pac 12 tournament. 
In there, strike three. What a pitch by McGee in a tough spot. Third true freshman in shortstop. So the 2-0 pitch to Cole. Slow roller, able to get Cole, but a runner will score. For Fielder's choice, she will head back to the dugout, but power with 10 home runs this season. It's back to back for the Wildcats. And that one in the dirt, so the bases will be loaded. That is the third walk given. We had a grand slam in the first inning. Arizona State wins playing in a Pac 12 tournament. Scoop and gets a hold of this one all the way to the base of the wall. Pacho is in, Kennedy coming to the plate, and she will touch it as well. Pat's doing what she does best, picking up a couple of RBIs right here, going left side, and showing off that power. That threw off line. Don't even know what count she's in. There's no panic on her face. There's nothing, and it's just she's so smooth. Calmness with the Wildcats. The one thing that they know is that they have run support. They have often an inning. Toss it across in time to get Donardo a nice. Washington climbing up to number fifth in the NFCA rankings. And Oregon had won 13 games in a row. Devin Nets coming inside to Acuna and it hits her, but she struck out in her first appearance. Try to catch that before it drops. And she gets her. Got ahead in the count. Got her on the head, Jordan Van Hook, Pac-12 leader with 10 times this year, so. She puts that one through the 5-6 hole out to left field. Acuna all the way to third. Who oh two with one away. And her sixth strikeout of the game. You can see the... And that 37 bombs in her career. That one a roller over to Scoopin, and Nets gets out of trouble. Bats in her first two seasons with Arizona. Speed in the dirt, she went. Can they get her? No, the throw sailed. That one left over the middle, Skaggs just underneath this one, sends it out near the warning track and send Up, down, change up. That one trails inside and then gets away. That one handled. Tucson means to her being a wildcat. This one is high up into the night sky above the lights, but it was so fun to watch. The bunt put down a beautiful one to get things started. Kayla Lissy, pinch hitter for the catcher. Macano, it's Sarah Kinch. Comes this one out to right field and running in to make the play. See the play, it wasn't just your ordinary fly out. Dakota Kennedy, that ball just foul out of the reach of Scoopin. Dakota Kennedy in left field. Sweet catch. Trying for two, yes. Nets gets the lead runner at second base. An aggressive play by Dan one at one. <laughs> So now two down, takes us to the top of the order. Harper right up the middle. So two runners aboard.
And Acuna 0-2 sends it to right field. Runner goes out, cut down at the dip. Whitmire struck out back in the second. Her 5-9 out of San Diego. And she draws the leadoff walk. The series against Cal, they say she is day-to-day. -day. Cole puts that bunt down. Fired over to first, can't keep the foot on the back. Runners on first and second. Perfect timing, <laughs> perfect. To go to knew exactly what the instructions were. The ball in the dirt, great read, no! Cut down at third with no outs. Oh, and she gets her, McGee goes upstairs, and Kennedy swings through it in the bottom of the second. Wonder if she's going to start to tire. And foul off the bat of Scoopin. Scoopin again into the gap and off the wall. And we are no longer a native player in the three spot. Spent a lot of time catching this season as well. And Ten doubles. And that one gets away. So, DiNardo, pitcher, getting cleanup for Arizona. Skies this one high into the air, out near the warning track today. Nets has done a nice job going into Rollin. She's been going to state. This is her second season. Nice swing on that one, but right to. Halo. 19 home runs, trying to join. He likes the higher ones tonight. You mentioned it, not so much side to side, but Nets coming back and gets the swing and a miss from Van Hook. Settled in at a leadoff walk and then a hit by pitch. Came back with. Strikeout number for Nets and she ends the inning with back the fifth and she now has a career high 111 pitches for the truth. And a four pitch walk to start the fifth inning for McGee. Berenger started her career in the SEC at Ole Miss, spent one year there. Savannah Price lands on the chalk, and that is a base hit. So Pacho gets this one in play, and no chance there. Skaggs cut down at the. Yeah, Blaze Beringer, when she comes off and holds, she definitely should be seen. This one run lead for Altmeyer. Up the middle. One run in, that's Behringer going for two. Obviously could tell towards the later inning she was getting behind, but still competing. Has to face one of the most, to get out of the threat. Logan Cole to first, tag applied out at the plate. And Jordan Van Hook who took in the grounder. Is that one in the dirt? Ball four. An RBI double in the fourth. <laughs> kind of disrupt her timing. Right up the middle for scooping. And she adds on another RBI. Two. I mean, if you come inside, she's going to turn on it. She's going to take that deep. We've seen her. Give credit to Dakota Kennedy as well. Ooh, that one inside. And the hit by pitch is an RBI. And then that's the cleanup hitter for Arizona. Here. And another hit by pitch. Devin Nets not happy. The starting pitcher for the Cats is what every player wants. So 0-2 to Skaggs. 
Sends this one deep and got him. Allie Skaggs with the big bomb for Arizona. Just a chance to add moments like this. Join us tomorrow at 10 a.m.